So here we are to demonstrate this first aid device which is called as non-nematic anti-shock garment or NASG. This is used for the initial treatment of hemorrhagic shock in obstetrics, especially in acute PPH. So currently this is the only medical non-surgical device which is available for stabilization of a patient in obstetric shock. Please note that this uh, is only an adjuvant therapy to other medical and surgical treatments of hemorrhagic shock. So this NASG is a lightweight, washable and reusable uh, and relatively inexpensive garment which is made up of neoprene and velcro. So uh, this neoprene is the same material that is used to make the suits worn by astronauts during the space travel. Now as you can see the numbered labels on NASG. So this NASG has six segments. We can see three segments each, a pair uh, which is wrapped around both the legs. And then we have another three segments, segment four which is wrapped around the pelvis and segment five and six around the abdomen. Now uh, this segment 6, it contains a small foam compression ball within it which uh, presses over the umbilicus and its function is to compress over the atonic uterus. Uh, now as we put this uh, garment on the patient, it's important to note that uh, knee joint should fall between a segment 2 and 3 so that the obstetrician is able to flex the knee easily uh, to put the patient in a lithotomy position uh, for performing various uh, procedures like PV examination or putting a tamponade balloon. Now what is the mechanism of action of this uh, garment? Uh, this uh, garment provides circumferential counter pressure uh, that overcomes the pressure in capillaries and uh, which uh, effectively reduces the bleeding from lower half of the body. It also creates a tamponade effect which pumps the blood uh, that is pooled in the lower half of the extremities to the upper half of the body and supplies the vital organs like brain, kidney and lungs. So this results in translocation of 30% of the total blood volume from the lower body to the core of the body and supplies the organs. So that's how uh, the biomechanism of action, it reduces bleeding and also reverses shock in obstetric hemorrhage. Now let's demonstrate the application of this uh, garment on a patient. It's uh, prudent to uh, note that with a little training, this garment can be applied by uh, anybody. So we do not need a doctor per se for this application with a little training. Even a paramedic or a driver or even a relative of the patient can learn to apply this garment. Now application of this garment takes only 2-3 to three minutes. Uh, now we will place the garment in completely uh, open uh, position. And now we will uh, place the patient in supine position on this garment. Note that when we put the patient on supine position over this garment, her spine has to align with the midline of this garment. Now first apply segment number 1 on the lower leg on both the sides. And to check for whether it has been tightened adequately, put an index finger under this and pull it out. When there is a snapping sound, it indicates that it is tightened adequately. Now as you go up, put the second segment on both the legs and uh, with each segment do the snap test to see if it is adequately tightened. Now we put the third segment. Here again, check for whether it is adequately tightened or not. Now, after application of the second and third segment, ensure that the patient's knee can be easily flexed. Now, apply the segment 4 on the pelvis. And finally, segment 6. As we had seen, the segment 6 has got a foam ball. This goes exactly over the umbilicus and it uh, presses over the uterus and now we are going to close segment 5 over the segment 6. So this is how this NASG garment is applied. Now uh, we will see and what are the conditions under which uh, this uh, garment can be removed. 
and the exact procedure of removal of this garment. So before removing this NASG garment, uh, remember the bleeding has to be either stopped or uh, less than 50 ml of bleeding per hour is there or the patient's pulse and BP are stable for at least 2 hours and before removing each segment, wait for at least 15 to 20 minutes and then uh, examine the patient again, check the pulse and blood pressure. If the pulse and BP is stable and there is no tachycardia of more than 20 beats per minute or fall in BP of more than 20 mmHg, then you can go on to remove the next segment. Hence, the complete removal of each segment and the whole of garment would take approximately one hour. Now, as you go on removing the uh, segments, at any point of time, if the BP falls by more than 20 mm of HD, you have to rapidly close all the open segments and now look for the source of bleeding. This is called as rule of 20. So, like how it was applied from 1 to uh, number 5, while removal also, we have to start removing from segment 1. First, remove segment 1 on both sides. Now you check for patient's pulse and blood pressure, wait for 15 to 20 minutes. If there is no fall in BP or there is no increased uh, tachycardia, then you go on to remove the second segment. Again, same drill is followed, you wait for 15 to 20 minutes, check for patient's pulse and blood pressure. If there is no fall, you go on to remove the third segment. And finally, we will remove the segment 5 and 6. And that's how the garment is opened up. So there is only one situation wherein we do not follow this uh, protocol of removal. Uh, so that is uh, in cases when the patient is ready uh, for a surgery and is already taken up in an OT. So what happens there is, suppose in an OT we have to perform any vaginal procedure, we need not remove this garment. As we have already seen that the patient knee can be easily flexed on both sides and patient can be easily placed in a lithotomy position. So all the vaginal procedure or surgery can be performed uh, without removing this garment. Now suppose a patient has been taken up for uh, abdominal exploration. Here also we need not remove the leg segments. Here you can only remove the pelvic segment and the abdominal segment and the surgeon can go ahead with operating over the abdominal and pelvis. Another uh, advantage of this garment is that uh, if the patient suppose wants to pass tools, we need not remove this whole garment. So there is this section, uh, cut section uh, at the back. You can place the bedpan over here and the patient can easily pass tools without us removing the garment. Now as we all know that uh, uh, this garment is reusable, so it should be uh, cleaned under normal running water uh, whenever used over a patient. All the blood clots and stains have to be washed away and uh, this garment is then placed in a sodium hypochlorite solution for 20 minutes. After placing it sodium hypochlorite, you have to dry it, sun dry it and store it in a clean and dry place and this garment can be reused for the next patient. Thank you.